Welcome back, Burgundy fans and strategy lovers. This is 077 Trigger here, and you're watching the Battle of Tora. Or Toria, whichever one you want to say. Uh, so, for uh, basically here, I'm just uh, fast forwarding to the um, part where they start the battle with me. Um, it was pretty late at night, and uh, hearing Kador's scratchy voice was uh, starting to bother me, so I just kind of passed it up. Um, but they have uh, a few decent monsters here. They have a Titan fighting against my team, and they have a red dragon, which they conveniently put protect on. So that's almost out of the question as far as fighting goes. I'm trying to get a very good strategic uh, placement here. Uh, I'm not so sure about how this uh, you know part on the right is going to go. You know, when I initially looked at it, I'm thinking, well, I don't know if they're going to be able to get that far down in there because of the forest. Uh, they have a lot of land creatures. I don't know if they're going to get far, but I'll just put uh, the demon there. I'll put the angel there just in case, you know, something goes there that I can, uh, you know, kill off effectively. I'm um, going to try to keep everything alive here, too. Uh, basically, you know, I've been just trying to keep everything alive every single battle. Um, there are some monsters I might not take in at all. There might some. There might be some I might just replace later on once I have enough rune power and I... You know, I've got enough high-level monsters that uh, they can sort of babysit other monsters, per se. Uh, but this placement worked out perfectly, because now Kador just came in a position where I can Divine Ray him, I can curse him, I can do all sorts of uh, stuff to him. It's, uh, it's a huge uh, circle of um, destruction I can do to him right here. He uh, just put himself in the worst position. Um, but I will do this, and here's the strategy behind it. I will leave a leader... Uh, slightly exposed, you know, that the enemy will definitely want to kill, you know, something like Paul Mighty's or Vineyard or something, it'll draw in some pretty powerful monster or pretty powerful leader into that space. And so therefore, I'm entrapping them, and I'm leaving a trap uh, for them. And a lot of games, um, you know, even if I played Call of Duty, I will actually set up traps for people. Uh, and that's something that uh, people don't think about. Most people are running around, you know, trying to get kills or, you know, trying to do, you know, something. But uh, typically here in this game, too, um, I'm going to leave a trap. And, you know, if someone's uh, willing enough to fall for it, you know, I'm fine. You know, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get the enemy. I'm going to catch him off guard. And uh, that's basically the part about strategy uh, in and typically in war, surprise is the um, one of the greatest parts about strategy. And uh, here, especially in this game, there really isn't a whole lot of surprise you can do because they know you're there. The computer knows, you know, where you moved. They, they have, uh, you know, positioning and, and whatnot. You can't really... It's kind of hard to sneak up on them and surprise them. Uh, the best you can do is just surround them and, uh, you know, overpower them. Uh, but... Here it's kind of a surprise because of the fact that I've left a one space open to trap. And um, <clears throat> now here, what you could do, what I'm not going to do necessarily, but what you could do is you could bombard Kador. You have an acid breath from a dragon. You have a photon beam attack from the white dragon. You have a frost spell from Vinard. You have... Um, Palmighty's attack, you have a curse, and you have divine ray, and you have centaurs. All that is plenty of enough, you know, that, that's plenty of attacks to kill Kador in one turn right now. Um, now, I positioned, um, you know, my Phoenix here just for the case, you know, just in case I wanted to heal up two to three guys in one turn, one time. And uh, this is why I do this. I leave them in this position back here, a few spaces away, so I don't heal up any of the monsters. And I just heal up my own team. And now, you can't cover the whole entire area, especially if you have a lot of monsters. Um, but uh, one thing this can definitely work for is a magic crew. You could heal up the front lines of your um, you know, magic defensive team with this phoenix. Uh, but um, for here, I'm attacking the Empire on Tora now. And my next attack is going to be, um, well, basically for here... Um, you know, after Tori, you're going to see a very strategic um, placing and attacking of uh, certain monsters. So when I get them down to one castle, I don't want to fight a whole 
you know, bucket load of uh, red dragons, titans, and, you know, a plethora of other high-level things. So I'm not too worried about Kador, but if your gameplay was to just attack the leaders, you had a grudge match with Kador, you wanted to take him down, you know, some kind of leader like that, you really wanted to wreck up badly, uh, definitely there are so many options for taking him out right now. And if you were just to, even if you were to acid bake through your own guy, you know, to Kador, um, you threw your own white dragon, it wouldn't hurt him that bad, and there's enough healers behind to, uh, you know, help out the, help out that positioning. But you could kill off Kador, and if you did, they, their whole army would leave, and you'd win right away, and it'd be over in a second. Um, <clears throat> but because I'm attacking him, and because I don't, uh, I don't necessarily like to, um, you know, just kill off leaders, get him to the last castle, and then go back and forth attacking them and destroying their monsters and retreating and destroying their monsters and retreating. I've done that before and typically I will do that at the very end here because I'm going to have to level up all my monsters to... I'm going to try to get them all level 30 um, but I'm going to try to do that and so I'm not going to get them down to one castle but I'm going to get uh, the last enemy down to probably about four castles and just kind of go back and forth and uh, you know ease my army in uh, level wise so that they can get up high but for this this castle um, and especially since this game plays where uh, each organize and each attack is a month a piece um, I'm burning up time <laughs> I'm losing a lot of time very very quickly so I'm going to do the best strategic attacks that I can do but for the most part I'm gonna be killing off their high-level monsters because especially you know with um, you know with this battle here I don't want to have to be fighting all that stuff you know right at the end so that's pretty much what I'm doing and I killed off one of their great monsters and they don't have enough to really you know fight me and uh, keep a good position so they're just going to run away uh, you know it would have happened the other way if I just killed off Kador but then they they might get to keep their high-level monsters they might give it to me but because this is on hard, and you just saw with the last battle, they didn't give me anything after I killed off Kai. I mean, it, that kind of happens. They don't really give you much to anything when you play it on hard, if you just go for leader kills. So, uh, for this, I'm killing off their best monsters, so that when I get down to it near the end, I don't have to uh, worry too much about them having an amazing army to fight against. I don't have to worry about losing much. And that's kind of the way you might want to go about it if you don't want to lose monsters because when you get to that point where you're at the last castle of an enemy army and you have to attack them and you want to keep everything alive, they're going to put their best stuff there and they're going to have a lot of good stuff if you didn't kill it off pr prematurely. So uh, that's the reason why you know I did what I did here. Um, still trying to... Um, you know, you know, wonder what I can get. Um, basically, I thought I might get him low, but uh, you know, he is double black, so I get to kill him off entirely, um, and uh, that kind of finished him off there. I was trying to kill off the red dragon. I uh, didn't quite get the position for that, but I thought, you know what? If I get a good kill here, I'll definitely get a high um, archangel, and I got to kill off a uh, titan, so that was good. Um, so I'll just have to kill off that red dragon next battle. So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this. It's Double 77 Trigger here. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and favor for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.